Racket and ball games can be fun. We've all tried our hand at tennis or badminton at some point in our lives, but have you ever wondered what it would be like to play tennis in an 80s style dystopian digital future against a shit chat in square in order to gain your freedom? I'm Ryan from 3 Eye Gaming and this is the review of Hollow Ball on the PSVR. Hollow Ball is the PSVR game that gets you moving. Set in a Tron-like landscape, you're trapped in a transparent cube of varying sizes. The game is essentially 3D Pong, much like Danger Ball from the PlayStation Worlds collection. But unlike Danger Ball, this game has bats. Better yet, bats that sound and feel like lightsabers. Like Pong, your aim is to hit and bounce the ball past your square opponent to score a point. As repetitive as that sounds, Hollow Ball does a fine job of mixing it up with the different types of game modes available. There's a campaign to progress through, which is increasingly challenging as you progress and three arcade modes to keep you busy long into the future. A multiplayer mode is also currently in development and if done right could further expand the appeal of Hollow Ball. Hollow Ball is fun, like really fun. It's addictive and pleasurably satisfying when you beat the square and unlock the next difficulty. The ball feels really natural when you connect and the vibration in the controllers is perfectly utilised. The ball can be curved, slowly padded away, or you can really whack it. The power of your swing is impressively translated to the speed of the ball and gives you a real feel of playing a sport. It's surprisingly physical and will leave you sweating and aching if you play for too long. I'm serious, you better have a towel ready for that head sweat. The move controllers are essential to play hollow ball, so the tracking is hugely important. This was actually my biggest fear. I worried the tracking simply wouldn't be able to keep up with my lightning quick forearm swing. I was wrong. The tracking in hollow ball is frighteningly accurate and sets a fine example of how to do it right. Even despite my world class athleticism, the PlayStation managed to keep up. Now you will need quite a bit of room for hollow ball. You'll be stood about 7 foot away and must have full arms length space around you. Remember, remove light bulbs that are within range and do not walk past anyone mid game. They will swing their move controllers right into your face. Speaking from experience here guys. The main campaign is pretty short but very fun. The arcade mode however is where the longevity of hollow ball is rooted. First there's zen mode, where you're free to customise the ball speed, ball size and size of the room to make it an ideal space to practice your swing. Then there's score attack, here you have 3 lives and 20 rounds of increasing difficulty to beat the opponent as quickly and accurately as possible. And the final mode is endurance. This mode, you have three lives to score as many points as possible. The sky's your limit. All three modes have local, weekly and all-time high scoreboards to keep it competitive and remind you despite how good you think you are, you're not. Hollow Ball embraces the shortcomings of VR and capitalises on its strengths. The mechanics are very well put together and finely polished. The graphical limitations of the VR seem to have inspired this very cool art style world and with the combination of that and the 80s digital future soundtrack, Hollow Ball will keep you burning calories while scratching that VR itch. Feel free to like and comment on this video, subscribe to my channel, see you in the next one, thanks for watching.